I was in the French Aviation Museum among the pre-World War I aircraft. I saw a plane which looked like it didn't belong there. It was the Dippertissen monocoque. It's quite different from the other planes of the early 20th century. Most of them were biplanes and had wooden frames covered in fabric. They were boxy. But Armand de Pertussen founded his company, Société de Productionnel des Appareils de Pertussen, to build fast monoplanes. Why? Perhaps for the need for speed. During this time period, before World War I, aviators and aircraft manufacturers were obsessed with speed. This interest was fueled by millionaire businessmen such as James Gordon Bennett. Bennett organized the Gordon Bennett Air Races. His newspaper, the New York Herald, sponsored the races with a purse of over $15,000 for the winner. The races began for aircraft in 1908, and the last one was held in 1920. Later famous races were the Schneider Cup races for seaplanes. The deeper dozen monocoques were among the fastest at Gordon Bennett Cup races. The races were international, with participants from all industrialized nations. Invariably, all racing planes were monoplanes. The depression monocoques exhibited extremely streamlined fuselage. Great attention was paid to the aerodynamics of the aircraft. The thin wings were made of hickory and pine, and, like the fuselage, covered with fabric. The fuselage was made of laminated strips of tulip wood. This wood from the tulip poplar is particularly well adapted to this process since it is straight grain from a tree that grows straight and tall. The fuselage was formed in two halves of a hickory frame with tulip wood strips glued in a crisscross fashion. There was a layer of linen cloth between layers of tulip wood. The halves of laminated wood fuselage were glued together with tied glue. The walls of the fuselage measured a mere 5 32nds inch thick. This is obvious from the photograph of this wreckage of a Dupassant monocoque from April 1912. Louis Bouchereau designed the racer, but a Swiss marine engineer, Eugene Riconnet, was the first to use this type of construction. In monocoque construction, the skin of the aircraft provides the strength of the fuselage as opposed to an inner framework providing strength. The aircraft was powered by a two-row 14-cylinder Gnome double lambda radial engine. Actually, two seven-cylinder engines with a common crankshaft. Output was 160 horsepower. Note that the intake valve is in the piston and it has a conventional exhaust valve. The engine ran on a mixture of castor oil and 40 octane gasoline. Therefore, excess oil escaped from the engine via the exhaust pipes. The aircraft had a length of 20 feet 5 inches with a wingspan of 23 feet and it weighed 1349.2 pounds. Notice there are no ailerons. All three axes are controlled by wires from the cockpit. Wing warping performs the function of the ailerons as utilized in the right flyer. The deeper Tessin monoplanes were extremely successful at the air races. Here is a segment of an article from the San Diego Evening Tribune newspaper, dated September 9, 1912. Jules Ventrines, driving his Dupertussen monoplane without a stop, finished the course of 124.8 miles in the James Gordon Bennett race in 70 minutes, 56 seconds. Ventrines, average speed was 105.5 miles per hour. Almost, but not quite equal to his previous record, Ventrines completed his flight before noon, spinning 30 times over the course as smoothly as a swallow veers around a church spire. Jules Ventrines was one of the more colorful pilots of that era prior to World War I. Other than and a prominent air racer, he set other aviation records as well as creating some international controversy between countries. 
if there was a prize for aviation event, Jules Ventrines would be a competitor. In 1919, he won a 25,000 franc prize for landing an airplane on the roof of a Parisian department store. However, it was Maurice Prevost, not Jules Ventrines, who set the speed record for aircraft in the production monocoque at the Gordon Bennett races at Reims, France in 1913. It was a speed of 127.44 miles per hour. Some sources record this record speed as 128 miles per hour. These speed records were set over a closed race course. Prevost won the first Schneider Cup race in a Dupuydussen monocoque with floats on it. There have been a number of later aircraft with monocoque wood construction, the Lockheed Vega and Lockheed Sirius, piloted by the famous aviator Charles Lindbergh through the Pacific with his wife. The twin-engine de Havilland Mosquito Bomber of World War II is probably the best-known wooden monocoque aircraft built. However, the fastest thing in the skies prior to World War I was the Deeper Dustin monocoque.